Hey everybody, so today's question is cheapest flights within K-Stop. So in this, we are given N cities and connected by M flight. And for each city, 1 to city 2, we have given a certain price. That it is the price it will take to move from city 1 to the city 2. So what we have to tell is, how can we go to the, from the city SRC to the city DST with at most of K-Stop? And if there is no such route, our output should be minus. So, so this is a very standard question or I should say the idea of Dijkstra's algorithm but with a small variation. So let's firstly see what is Dijkstra's algorithm. So for this we have a graph like this. So in this we can say that like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 these are our cities and the distance between the two like between 4 and 5 we have written 2. So that is the post that we are giving for going from 4 to 5 or from 5 to 4. Okay. So what we have to do is basically we have to tell that if we are if our starting position is 1, what will be the minimum cost we have to give to go to the 3 or to go to the 4. So we find the minimum cost or the minimum path we have to travel or cover to find our final destination. So for example, if our the starting point is 1, so let's say that all the other nodes from the 1, we say that the distance to them is infinity. Like, and as we move further with the algorithm, we will change it to the minimum distance possible. So from 1, we can go, what is the minimum distance we can cover? To go to the 2, we can cover 5. To go to the 4, we can cover 9. And to go to the 5, we can cover 1. So we change that infinite with 5, 9, and 1. Then the minimum distance is 1. So we will go to the 5 next. Now from 5, what is the minimum distance that we can cover? So it is 2. But the minimum distance now changed for 4. It is not 9 anymore. It is 3. Because it is the distance that we took to reach 5. Then from 5 to 4. So it is 3 total. So 3 is minimum. So we got it 3. So we can see all the elements that we are turning gray have their minimum cost already. Okay. Then we are moving forward doing same for 3 and 2. So yeah. So these are the minimum cost that it will take from 1 to go to the all the nodes respectively. So what's the variation? The variation is that we have given a maximum number of stops. That means not more than the k number of nodes can come between the minimum path. So, for example, the that we are given here, we want to go from 0 to 2. So, we can see that the minimum distance is 200, 100 plus 100. So, if we have given the k is equal to 1, then we can grow, then we can go from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 as we have one node in between. But we, if we have given the k is equal to 0, then we can't have any node in between. So we have to go directly. So our minimum cost will come as 500. So that's the variation. So now let's try to implement this in C++. So firstly, I have taken an unordered map and given it the name graph. Then what I am doing is, from the flight, as we know, as here, the input style is a form of tuple of 3 that is first the starting node then the ending node and then its price so what we are doing is we are giving the graph the value of the starting node and then giving the next pair the first value of the pair is the ending node and the second value of the pair is the cost then we are defining a vector prices of n size and giving it all minus 1 or we can give it infinity whatever you want so it will contain the final prices that it will take to go from the starting position to the nth position having at most k stop. Then, then we are using a priority queue and giving it the name Q. And we are pushing our first pair in it that is the starting point and zero. But that, what does it mean is for going to the starting point we have to use zero money because we are already there. Then I am then I am increasing the value of k by 1. 
because because if we have to go to the just next node then we have zero stop but in implementing my idea what i am counting is i am counting the edges to go there so that's why for so that's why i'm increasing it by one then what we are doing is we are checking if our queue is not empty because it will get empty when our graph is over and our k is not zero because it will get zero when condition don't satisfy then we are giving the length is equal to the size of q then we are iterating over the loop and saying a temporary variable current tur and giving it the value and giving it the front value of q that is the pair it have and then popping it out so what current contains now is so what cur current will contain always is where we are standing right now and what is the post it takes to stand there okay then we are checking for that value where we are standing all the possible next values in the graph and then we are finding the prices of all the values we can go from our current value to the next value and if any price is minus 1 that is it is not changed yet or our price is less than the price we firstly given to it then we will change its price and, and then we will push it to our queue so when we will push it to our queue what we are doing is we are then going to that node then we are reducing the value of k because it means that we have come forward one more edge and finally when our loop will be over which means either our k is zero or our q is empty then we will finally give the price that it takes to go to the final destination that is prices ds so i hope this is clear it's okay if you don't understand this try to understand this try to listen it one more time try to give it a serious thought it's really good algorithm so try to implement it by your own and all the best and thanks for watching